श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरो साक्षात्ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम लोकेस्ताष्ठा पुरा प्रोक्ता मैया न घ्ञानयोगेन सांख्या कर्मयोगेन योगिना इन दिस वर्स वी वर् सी भगवान शंकर भाष्य ज्ञानयोगेन ज्ञानम एव योगा तेन सांख्या आत्मात्म विषय विवेक ज्ञानवता अवस्थिता निष्ठा प्रोक्ता न हियर व्हाट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग टू बी अंडरस्टूड व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ ज्ञान योगेन सांख्या एंड कर्म योगेन योगी नाम ऑन व्हाट फाउंडेशन वी स्टार्ट आवर थिंकिंग वन पर्सन वॉज आस्क मी क्वेश्चन इन दिस कैम्प अवर वृंदावन कैम्प स्वामीजी वी गेट सो कन्फ्यूज वी गो टू वन महात्मा ही सेज डू जप वी गो टू अनदर वन ही टेल्स डू कर्म वी गो टू द थर्ड वन ही टेल्स डू प्राणायाम वी गो टू द फोर्थ वन ही सेड स्टडी स्क्रिप्चर्स we don't know what we should do and we get confused now see here this is what bhagwan is trying to tell on what foundation our life begins if the foundation is i am body and on that foundation i want to lead a spiritual life then the path will be different how you should conduct yourself in the world how you should serve your parents how you should take care of your brothers and sisters how you should earn money sincerely when you are leading you have accepted that you are a body then this is the thing when you accept yourself to be the jeeva that i was there in the last life i am in this life i'll continue to be in the next life then for that foundation there is the karma yoga karma you do good karma go to the heavens do bad karma go to the hell so karma is meant for those who have accepted themselves to be the jeeva and the third category those who are not ready to accept although they have not experience they are not ready to accept that they are the body they are not ready to accept that they are the jeeva but they are the absolute self although there is zero experience of that doesn't matter but their nishtha their foundation is this for this people gnana yogena sankhya nam bhagwan says so where from we begin our journey see it is something like you know you are to reach uh, delhi from bombay and you have to reach delhi from chennai and you have to reach delhi from trivandrum so the starting points are different so accordingly you have to take the vehicle suppose you have to go to delhi from uh, trivandrum and you say uh, i like to go by howrah bombay or howrah delhi then you are crazy if you are in chennai and you want to go to delhi then you cannot take the bombay delhi train so what is your foundation where from you are beginning your journey so if we begin our journey from the body identification there is this uh, um, vyavaharik satya we accept the body to be real 
and uh, we start leading accordingly don't hurt other don't get hurt help everybody serve everybody if we consider ourselves to be the jiva then our relationship with this world is different not at the body level and when we come to the third level that i have to be someone other than the body and the jiva then what i am for such students there is atma anatma vishaya viveka jnana see therefore karma yogena karma eva yogah karma yogah atena karma yogena yoginam karminam nishtha prokta ityartha so those who have taken up this standpoint that we are the jiva we are the soul then for them karma yoga is meant यदि च पुरुषेन एकस्मै पुरुषार्थाय ज्ञानम कर्म च समुचित्य अनुष्ठेय भगवता इष्ट मुक्ता वक्षमाण वा गीतासु वेदेशु च उक्तम इफ भगवान हैड दिस मीनिंग इन इज माइंड व्हाट मीनिंग दैट एकेन पुरुषेन एकस्मै पुरुषार्थाय by the same person for the same goal attainment in life there is necessity of knowledge and karma together if this was bhagavata ishtam it was this was meant by bhagwan then uktam vakshamanam gitasu vedeshu cha uktam then this should have been said in the gita or the vedas but this is not said कथम यह अर्जुनाय उपसन्नाय प्रियाय विशिष्ट भिन्न भिन्न पुरुष कर्तृके एव ज्ञान कर्म निष्ठे ब्रुयान एंड देर फोर हाउ विल भगवान से टू अर्जुन हु हैज अप्रोच हिम हु इज इज वेरी डियर दिस विशिष्ट भिन्न पुरुष कर्तृके दिस टू अप्रोचेस ज्ञान एंड कर्म विच इज मेन फॉर टू टाइप्स ऑफ अधिकारी दोज हु हैव एक्सेप्टेड डेम सेल्व टू बी जीव and those who have accepted themselves to be other than the jiva paramatma for them there will be a different approach and therefore katham jnan karma nishte bruyan how can both be told to the same person yadi punaha arjuno jnanam karmam cha dvayam shrutva swayam eva anushthasyati suppose it was imagined that arjun has heard about both knowledge and karma and he himself start practicing swayam eva anushthasyati annesham tu bhinna purusha anushtheyatam vakshami iti but i am telling this that the knowledge and karma is meant for different qualities of seekers then what will happen iti matam bhagavatah kalpeta if this is what we superimpose on bhagwan then tada ragadveshavan apramana bhuto bhagwan kalpita syat then we will say bhagwan is having double standard for arjun something else and for other something else no the law of karma is applicable to everybody ignorant means ignorant and what is the meaning of ignorant ignorant means the one who has taken a stand that he is a soul so that stand from where we begin begins our sadhana therefore when we study this 7th uh, chapter of panchadashi this brudhanandaka mantra is so beautifully elaborated by bhagwan atmanam chet vijaniyat ayam asmi ti purushah so ayam purushah chet atmanam vijaniyat if a jeeva comes to discover what is his essential nature then kimichchan can there be a desire left in him the desire is for whom the one who considers himself to be limited then kasya kamaya if there is no desire can there be a desirer see if there is no wife can there be a husband so kasya kamaya sharira manushya jware will he thereafter live at a body level see therefore तदा रागद्वेशन प्रमाण भूत भगवान कल्पित सैच्च युक्त बट दैट इज नॉट एक्सेप्टेड तस्मा 
कया आपकी युक्तिया न समुच्चयो ज्ञान कर्मणो हो देर बाय देर फोर बाय एनी मीन्स एनी लॉजिक यू कैनॉट एक्सेप्ट दैट द नॉलेज एंड कर्म कैन गो टुगेदर नाउ हियर बिफोर वी गो अहेड वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग अबाउट दिस ओनली वी हैव टू डिसाइड वॉट स्टैंड वी वॉन्ट टू टेक इन लाइफ Like you know, so many people come to visit me. I have seen here whole day and night. Somebody or the other is there. So there are different people with different stands. Now, for example, those who are yogis who come, you know, this person who came in the afternoon for lunch, you know, with a khadi shirt and lungi, he is following the path of yoga. He is very deep into it. and he has done a lot of sadhana in kundalini jagruti shat chakra bhedan and study in everything and uh, every time he is uh, interested in observing me today in the afternoon uh, when i was sleeping he was also sleeping in the same room two beds were so sleeping there and then when i got up he said swami ji congratulations i said what happened You are prana kundalini is awakened. I said, but I didn't feel anything. He said, no, no. You know everything, but you are only taking a disguise of not understanding. You have already crossed all the hurdles. So he has taken this stand that there is the jiva residing in this body, and that jiva is evolving. and afterward the jiva will merge into the siddha loka siddha purushas and become the most powerful to bless the world one approach so his approach will be the jiva is there i versus you will continue to be and then language is as in many people they don't understand what is the meaning of prana what is the meaning of the uh, chakra bhedan what is the meaning this and that thing and he is so sincere in that but the foundation what foundation is i am the jiva and therefore every time he says swami ji beda par laga do so what is the beda par laga do i can never understood this beda and where you have to go where you have to reach when you say progress progress is possible only in the finite see apurya manam ajala pradeshtham samudra maapam pravishanti advat tadvat kama sarve pravishanti when none of the desires can ever add anything where is the question of progress and regress therefore what stand we take in life that determines our spiritual practice and therefore everybody is right See? and by after study of vedanta shastra as we are doing if our stand is that i cannot be anything else but the absolute self hey today that girl has come see swami ji uh, you please tell me the last piece of advice what you want to tell me i said look here mama for any reason don't accept you are other than para brahma parmatma and don't tell anybody do you know swami ji told me no i am brahman don't do that then you will be ridiculed so lead your life normally with your husband children and business whatever you are doing but hold on to this don't compromise on any reason that you are anyway other than the reality then everything will start happening in a right manner so this is what has to be understood what stand we take before we take the spiritual path now you will see you know those who are the devotees see among them what difference there are two types of devotees one is the devotee of shri krishna other is the devotee of radha 
and these two devotees fight with each other. Radha is great. Other says no, Krishna is great. So when Krishna runs after Radha, do you know Sri Radhe, Sri Radhe, Sri Radhe? And those who are the Krishna devotees, Radha has no existence without Krishna. Then who is superior? So that depends where you are. If you are in Vrindavan, then say Radhe, 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 Radhe. One person observed me this. He said, Swamiji, it is very difficult to understand you. I said, don't try to understand. He said, when some people here, you, see, you say Radhe, Radhe, Hadu par karke, Radhe, Radhe. There is another brand, where they say Radhe, Sham. Sham, this is Lodi. There is third one, Jai Shri Krishna. The fourth one, Hari Om. The fifth one, Om um, uh, Shiva, Om Shiva, Om All these things are only what point you are starting from. Therefore, Jnana Yogena Sankhyanam, Karma Yogena Yoginam. Now decide what you want to attain. You want to be a Jiva, then you are following the path of Jainism, uh, then you are um, Buddhism and all other isms. In Jainism, Jainism, you become purer and purer and purer and go to the Siddha Shila. Therefore, in uh, Buddhism, they talk only about karma. They don't believe in Ishwara. Jains also don't believe in Ishwara. Only karma, karma. Therefore, these are the two. Tasmat kaya api yuktyana samuchayo dhyana karmano ho. By none logic you can come to a conclusion. This knowledge and uh, karma can go together. Yad arjunena uktam karmano jayastam buddhehe tacha sthitam anira karanad. And what Arjuna has said, jayasi chet karmanaste mata buddhir janardana. O oh Lord, in your opinion, if the knowledge is superior than the karma, this was tachasthitam. It is accepted by the Lord. Anirakaranad. Bhagavan has not rejected this statement. That means he accepted that there are two paths. One is karma, second is knowledge. Tasyacha jnana nishthaya ha sanyasinam eva anushtheyatvam bhinna purusha anushtheyatva vachanat cha bhagavataha evam eva evam eva anumatam iti gammete and therefore it is it can be very easy concluded that Bhagwan also accepts that only <coughs> the sannyasi now again who is the sannyasi he who has taken this stand that I cannot be other than Parabrahma Paramatma don't worry whether you are realized or not but what stand you are taking that is important so for them, Jnana is said, because <coughs> Bhinna Purusha Anushtheyatva Vachanat. Because these two types of approaches are meant for two types of people. And Bhagavataha evam eva anumatam. And this is exactly what Bhagavan again has to say, nothing else. Now, Maam cha bandhakarane karmani eva niyojesi iti vishanna manasam arjunam. Karma no arabhe iti eva manvanam alakshaha bhagavan na karmanaman arambhat iti. Now Bhagavan takes up another approach, another uh, step. Mamcha karma bandhane karmani eva niyojaisi iti vishanda manasam arjunam. So Arjuna had this frustration in his mind. You are engaging me in this terrible karma and therefore karma no arabhe eva iti. And suppose if I don't do karma at all, so there will be neither sin nor merit. Iti eva manvanam. If this is what Arjuna is thinking, alaksha aha Bhagwan. Keeping this in view, Bhagwan Sri Krishna says in the fourth verse, na karmana manarambhad. Not by uh, suspending the beginning of any activity, etc. We will take that verse when it comes. So, Athava, Jnana Karma Nishtayo Ho Paraspara Virodhan, Ekena Purushena Yugavad Anushtatum Ashakketve Iti, Itare Tarana Pekshayo Ho, Eva Purushartha Hetutve Prapte, 
और अनदर अथवा और ज्ञान कर्म निष्ठा यो हो परस्पर विरोधान ज्ञान एंड कर्म इज ऑफ एक्जैक्टली अपोजिट नेचर व्हाट इज अपोजिट नेचर दोज हु आर हैविंग ज्ञान निष्ठा दे टेक देम सेल्व टू बी द एब्सोल्यूट एंड दोज हु आर हैविंग कर्म निष्ठा दे टेक देम सेल्व टू बी द रिलेटिव सो दोज हु आर ऑब्सेस विद रिलेटिविटी दे कैन नेवर एक्सेप्ट द एब्सोल्यूट see uh, one place i went and uh, a very nice mahatma big mahatma i went and did namaskar and all that and i was sitting on the floor so those people who came with me after so i said why did you sleep on the sit on the floor i said i don't like to sleep before everybody therefore i sat no 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 not like that we are seen that man i said don't compare you are not here to comment on anybody So I said, "Stop this topic. This is not right way." So this was all over. Afterwards, one elderly man, Swami Ji, you have banged the people. They keep quiet, but I cannot because I am elder than you. I want to. I said, "Papa Ji, why do you waste your time on this?" No, I want to know. When these people call themselves Mahatma, why they have so many stones? Many people have many, you know, rings. That Navagraha and then this Mangal and the Guru and the what what kind of thing? I said best reply will be to go and ask them. I said no, we do not go and ask them. Our it is our objection. If you are a Mahatma, why should you have that? I said ha. If you are a Mahatma, why do you call him Mahatma and suffer? He is like you and me. Don't bother about it. So when I take this relative standpoint. That all these grahas are having impact on me, and if I put this stone, that grah will be checked. If I put that stone, the other grah will be checked, and therefore I have got all those stones in my hand. Any grah can be lagao. If you are taking that standpoint, go ahead, no problem, because you have taken this relative standpoint so firmly that you cannot think about anything else. See those who are, uh, you know, the astrologers. You will see they are constantly only calculating. See in his kundali, this happened, that happened. See this grah here, 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 here. So this relativity is made complicated so much, and it is all true. If you accept that jiva is the real, but the moment you change your stand. then all that thing becomes null and void for example according to this karma whatever we have today is our prarabdha we get only according to our karma according to the last life therefore in this life we should do good karma according to devotion what we have is not because of karma phala it is because of ईश्वर अनुग्रह सी कर्म एज डिसअपियर्ड बिकॉज वॉट इज कर्म कॉज एन इफेक्ट तो वॉट स्टैंड पॉइंट यू टेक एंड वेन यू गो टू द डिवोशन वॉट एवर आई हैव बिकॉज ऑफ द डिवाइन ग्रेस सो आई एम द रिसीवर एंड द गॉड इज द गिवर ही इज द कंट्रोलर आई एम द कंट्रोल्ड देर ऑल्सो द रिलेटिविटी रिमेन्स But of a higher quality relativity, <laughs> because you have come out of the cause and effect, and now you have gone into the field of the consciousness. I, the jiva, a conscious being; Ishvara, the all-powerful, a conscious being. But we are separate from each other. Naturally, the approach will be different. And when you take this approach, that there is but one reality, ekameva diti ani hana na se kinchana. then your approach will be different so ekena purushena yugad yugapad anushthatum ashakatve sati when this knowledge and karma cannot be simultaneously practiced by the same person being of opposite nature why opposite nature one is obsessed with the relativity and other is established in the absolute so they are opposite nature so इतरेतरापेक्षो एव पुरुषार्थ हेतु प्राप्ते देन वन मे मिस्टेक 
that these two paths are independent for the attainment of moksha, liberation. Itara, itara anapiksha yoho, that means one is totally independent of other and in this manner through karma also one can attain moksha and through knowledge also one can attain moksha. This kind of possibility of thinking may arise and therefore karma nishthaya jnana nishtha prapti hetutvena purushartha hetutvam na svatantrena therefore karma nishtha is only for making you qualified to attain the knowledge so karma is meant for purifying your heart and mind and thereby you become capable of inquiry and understanding therefore karma yoga is only the cause for attaining the qualification for inquiry see karma nishthaya jnana nishtha prapti hetutvena so jnana nishtha prapti hetu the cause of attainment of knowledge karma nishtha is to be accepted and purushartha hitutvam na swatantrena na swatantrena means what karma yoga karma nishtha by itself directly cannot attain moksha because jnana nishtha tu karma nishtha upaya labdhatmika sati swatantrena eva purushartha hetu anyan apeksha iti etad artham pradarshishan aha bhagavan but this jnana nishtha is the direct, that means it is the last step. It is something like this, you know. Uh, we have to come to Lonavala from Delhi. So what we do? We take a flight from Delhi to Bombay. Then leave that flight. Then from there we take a taxi or a car. And then we come to Lonavala. Then we leave Lonavala, enter our Kaivalyadham. After we enter Kavaladam, then we leave the taxi outside the house and then enter the house with the sleepers. Up to a particular limit, the sleepers are allowed. Beyond that, they are dropped. So see what we have done? We started from Delhi by air and one by one we left. So what is the last thing that we left? Is the sleeper. So the sleepers were with us till the last moment. So we will say, how you entered the house by the sleepers? In the same manner, this karma yoga is leading us to a uh, position where our mind has become qualified to know the truth. After that, sarvam karma khilam partha jnane parisamapyate. Then the karma ends. And after the karma ends, then the jnana marga begins. Atman, atma viveka. What I am and what I am not. And in this manner, the jnana nishtha is the ultimate, the last independent means of moksha. Therefore, uh, this jnana nishtha, karma nishtha upaya labdhatmika which can be attained through the karma yoga. Swatantrena purushartha hetuhu is the independent means of attainment of the liberation moksha purushartha hetu anya anapeksha iti etat artham and not keeping anything else as dependence to show this Bhagavan says in the fourth verse na karma nama narambhat Naishkarmyam Purushoshnute Nacha Sanyasana Deva Siddhim Samadhi Gachati Na Karmanam Anarambhat Aprarambhat Karmanam Kriyanam Yadnyadinam Ihajanmani Janmantareva Anushtitanam 
उपात्त दुरीत क्षय हेतु शुद्ध सत्व शुद्धि कारणान तत्कारण ज्ञानोत्पत्ति द्वारेन ज्ञान निष्ठ हे ज्ञान निष्ठा हेतूना ज्ञान उत्पद्यती पुंसा क्षया पाप से कर्मण इत्यादि स्मरणा अनारंभा अनुष्ठाना इन सच ए लॉन्ग सेंटेन्स वॉट भगवान से न कर्मण अनारंभा बाय नॉट बिगिनिंग द कर्म मीन्स वॉट अप्रारंभात कर्मण नॉट बिगिनिंग एनी काइंड ऑफ कर्म क्रिया कर्माण क्रियाणा यज्ञादी नाम विचार दोष कर्म यज्ञ एटसेट्रा इह जन्मनी जन्मांतरे वा इन द अर्लियर लाइफ और इन दिस लाइफ एंड अनुष्ठिता उपात्त दुरीत क्षय हेतु एंड वेन दिस कर्म इज प्रैक्टिस देन व्हाट विल हैपन दुरीत क्षय हेतु इट बिकम द कॉज फॉर द रिमूवल ऑफ द इम्प्यूरिटीज ऑफ द माइंड एज अ रिजल्ट सत्व शुद्धि कारण एंड एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ विच द अंतकरण बिकम्स प्योर एंड वेन द अंतकरण बिकम्स प्योर तत्कारण बाय द प्योर हार्ट च ज्ञानोत्पत्ति द्वारे देन वन इज एबल टू हैव द नॉलेज and they jnana nishtha hetu naam and therefore the karma is indirectly the cause for attainment of the knowledge by making the seeker qualified to know the truth so by such karma naam by such karma anarambhad anushthanat when they have not begin this karma so by this approach नैष्कर्म्यम निष्कर्म भाव कर्मशून्यता ज्ञान योग निष्ठा निष्क्रियात्मस्वेण अवस्थन यवत्ष न श्नुते न प्राप्नोति प्राप्नोतिथ सो नॉट बाय बिगिनिंग एनी कर्म वन कैनॉट अटेन नैष्कर्म सिद्धि न हियर नैष्कर्म्य प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इट मींस नैष्कर्म्यम निष्कर्म भाव निष्कर्म भाव मीन्स वॉट कर्मशून्यता where there is zero karma and what is karma kriya plus doership so when it is said karma shunyata there is no doership anywhere kartrutva abhiman shunyatvam so jnana yogena nishtham this is what the ultimate meaning of the naiskarma siddhi is that there is नो कर्तृत्वाभिमान एंड देर इज नो कर्तृत्वाभिमान ओनली इन परब्रह्म परमात्मा सो ज्ञान योग निष्ठा निष्क्रिय आत्मस्वरूपेण एव अवस्थन एंड दस बाय अबाइडिंग इन द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ द नॉन डुअर एक्सिस्टेंस नॉन डुईंग एक्सिस्टेंस इति याव दिस इज व्हाट इज मेन्ड बाय द निष्कर्म सिद्धि पुरुष न श्नोति न श्नुते न प्राप्नोति प्राप्नोति तो विदाउट बिगिनिंग द कर्म विदाउट प्यूरिफाइंग युअर हार्ट विदाउट बिकमिंग क्वालिफाइड टू नो द ट्रूथ एंड विदाउट स्टडिंग अंडरस्टैंडिंग कॉन्टेम्प्लेटिंग रिफ्लेक्टिंग श्रवण मनन निधिध्यासन समाधि सविकल्प समाधि निर्विकल्प समाधि एंड थ्रू दिस प्रोसेस हैविंग ऑन एंड वेन यू आर एबल टू कन्वर्ट युअर नॉलेज इन टू एक्सपीरियंस then only you will attain the final and for that where from we begin from this karma and therefore as long as we are holding the position like arjuna how can i kill others meaning i am the killer and others will be killed ubhautam na vijani taha see bhagwan very clearly told so as long as you have the kartrutva abhiman in your heart you are qualified for karma and if you are qualified for karma and you say no i want to take sanyas you are going the wrong way this is what happens with many people you know they imagine uh, taking sanyas is the freedom and thereafter they take to sanyas so what they do they go to some place and become baba ji and after that what next there was one lady long time back she wanted to come and join the vedanta course and she is very known to be closely known 
this is about us first batch probably or second batch so he says swami ji uh, i want to apply and i want to join the course i said you apply i want to join the course you can't dictate me he says swami ji you are telling me i said yes i am telling you so you will not take me i said okay i tell you i will not take you for the studies I said why what wrong i have done I am associated with so many years and all that. I say that's why you are having spiritual poisoning. You should not join, and I will not take you. But why? I said, Amma, do you want to hear? Listen. After two years, what? You are running away from your life for two years. After that, where will you go? therefore don't imagine that uh, i will just go and do a course what next you watch so many students have done the course and where are they what happened to them so na karmana manarambhat i will give up everything not do anything that is not the way so karmana manarambhat naiskarmam na shnute iti vachanat तद विपर्जया तेषाम आरंभात नैष्कर्म में अश्नुति इति गम्यते न और पूर्व पक्षी इज आस्किंग ए क्वेश्चन व्हेन दे सेड कर्मणाम अनारंभात नैष्कर्म में अश्नुते बाय नॉट बिगिनिंग इन द कर्म वन डज नॉट अटेंड द एब्सोल्यूट रियलिटी दैट मींस तद विपर्जया अपोजिट इज ट्रू सो बाय द डूइंग ऑफ द कर्म वन विल अटेंड द रियलिटी कस्मात पुनः कारणात करुणानाम अनारंभात नैष्कर्म में अश्नुति इति and therefore what is the reason why bhagwan says that by not beginning the karma one does not attain the nishkarm siddhi what is the reason so bhagwan says uchchate karma arambhasya eva nishkarmya upayatvat because karma arambha beginning of the karma and then practicing the karma yoga is the means by which you become qualified to know the truth so karma yoga is the upaya for becoming qualified for the jnana yoga and nahi upayam antarena upaya prapti hi asti and without the means you cannot attain the goal so now what is the goal of karma yoga the goal of karma yoga is to become qualified to know the truth and then after you have become qualified then you can inquire about the truth and merge in the reality if you enter through the back door you will fail utterly like you know, it happens in many places i remember one boy in a uh, iit pawai i once went there for a lecture in their uh, what do you call canteen they have fixed my lecture because it is a government institution secular therefore good thing should not be spoken so it was in the canteen and after the lecture was over then um, we were all sitting together <coughs> and one boy came and he said swami ji i want to talk to you something i said start he said no separately i said okay talk separately and then he said swami ji i feel very neglected nobody likes to talk to me here and everybody looks down upon me this is one in the social circle in the class also i feel lost the professor also don't take much interest in teaching and i don't know what is happening to me so i casually asked him how have you entered iit through competition or through reservation quota he was so embarrassed he said sorry what is this has to do with that i said nothing i just casually ask you you don't reply i don't want he said no i came through reservation quota i said by reservation quota you got the seat but for understanding the subject matter there is no reservation 
you have to be qualified. See? In the same manner, because we can read Sanskrit, we are not qualified for understanding Vedanta. Because we can read English, that doesn't mean we will be able to understand the computer science. So, this qualification to know the truth is gained through this Karma Yoga. And this is what Bhagavan is telling. Karmarambhasya eva naishkarmi upayatvat. So, unless you begin your karma, you will not be purified. And nahi upayam antarena upaya prapti asti, without that, you cannot attain the upaya prapti. So, what is the purpose of the karma yoga? To become fit for the jnana yoga and not the paramatma prapti. Karma yoga payatvam cha naishkarma lakshanasya jnana yoga se shruto ihacha pratipadhanad. Therefore, this karma yoga is the means for karma yoga upayatvam is the means and naishkarma lakshanasya jnana yoga se and means for for means for attainment of the jnana yoga shruto ihacha pratipad pratipadanad thus it is said in the shruti mata vedas as well as in bhagavad gita Shruto tavat prakrutasya atmalokasya vedyasya vedanot payatvena tameva tametam vedanu vachanena brahmana vividishanti yadnena ityadinam karma yogasya jnana yogo payatvam pratipadanam. It is said in the Upanishad, Brother Naga, that those who are tavat prakrutasya atmalokasya vedyasya, those who want to know the absolute self for them, Upayatve na uh, yadne na. So, what is the upaya? Upaya is the karma for getting the qualification to know the truth. Ityadina by this karma yoga se jnana yoga upayatvam pratipaditam. So, the karma yoga has the goal that we become qualified for the understanding of the scriptures, understanding the import. And because of this, you know what happens. Many people say this thing. That when you read Bhagavad Gita, every time something new comes up. Do you know why something new we learn? Because as the time passes, we keep on living our life, sometimes going the wrong way, sometimes the right way, again we come back, again we go. And as we keep on living, our heart becomes purer and purer. And our ability to comprehend the secrets increases. And therefore, those points which we had missed in the past, they are comprehended because our qualification has increased. This is the meaning. Therefore, many times people come and say to us, Swamiji, today you were fantastic. That means that fellow was fresh. Sometimes... Swami, so, mean, today we are all bouncers, you know, nothing, we were so stunned. Why? Because so exhausted and tired. And in that you come and sit in the glass. Naturally everything will go above. It will not remain. Teacher remains the same. The ability of the student differs. Not only among the students, but within the student in different periods of time. Therefore, Jnana Yoga Upayatvam. The upaya, the means for attainment of the qualification is this karma yoga. And here also in Bhagavad Gita it is said, Iha chapi, uh, sannyasastu mahabaho dukham aptuma yogataha. So, sannyasa karma tyaga is very difficult for a yogataha. The one who has not done the karma yoga for him, Sannyasa is not possible. And if he does it, Dukkham Aptum, he suffers. One day, when a very elderly man asked me this question, Swamiji, please don't mind, you know, I am asking you a silly question, but this is my personal problem, therefore I am asking you. So, what is that question? He said, 
Do you ever felt in your life regrets? I should not have taken to this path. I should have gone for some um, multinational and in some big colleges and become a big vice chancellor. And all. Do you ever feel that regret? I said, did you smell it any time? He said, no, that is my problem. Why don't you feel like that? See, it's very important. Because where from you start? If you start from this point, the academic achievements are the greatest. Then go and see those academically very mature people. They are empty inside. I have seen one professor who was guiding one lady in Kopoli only. I don't know where they are. So he guided that lady for a doctorate on Shankar Vedanta and the text was Shatashloki. And uh, so she used to come and ask me as to talk to her. And finally she got a doctorate on Shankar Vedanta. And then I said, hey, I would like to go and meet your Guruji who taught you. So by then he was retired. So she phoned and I went, he was staying in Bombay. I went there. And when I went there, just I went and sat, they didn't say sit down also, I sat because I was tired standing, sat. For two, three hours, non-stop, I had done this thing, so many publications, this thing, that thing, I had done this thing, I was here, so many students I have produced and I this thing, continuously. After two, three hours, then he said, Are you are not talking anything. I said, you know, the wise thing is, only one person talks at a time, you know, how can I talk when, and I have come to listen to you, so I have nothing to talk. Anyway, I didn't ask you also a glass of water, will you like to have a glass of water? I said, of course I like to have it. And then he said, uh, I want to ask you one question. I said, uh, what is that? How to do japa? I said, I'll tell you, you are very well read in all your Vedanta Shastra. I will tell you about Japa only if you accept me as your Guru and you may become my disciple. Samidhi, you have got a very good sense of humor. I said, no. <laughs> this is not a sense of humor. See? So, say, you might have studied so much all this thing, carrying the load of the knowledge, erudition, scholarship. And then one comes to realize all this is nothing but a load that we are carrying on our mind. And therefore, sannyasastu mahavaho dukkham aptu mayogataha. And those who are not done this homework, for them it is a misery. And what is the misery? You know, my own student is promoted as the head of the department and I continue to be the reader. Under this condition, tell me what I should do. There is one more thing. These days there is one latest Swami coming on the TV. So, he is conducting huge camps, health oriented yoga camps. Thousands and thousands of people, charging from everybody few hundred rupees. So in one camp of one week or so, he can make 20, 30, 40 lakhs. So somebody says, Swamiji, why don't you start like that? And I don't have that. And I am not that great. I am happy with my mind myself. He says, Swamiji, do you know, this person learned from his guru. And he told his guru, you become my disciple and join with me to do this work and you will get a lot of money. See? <laughs> where is Parabrahma, Paramatma, Prapti and where is all these things? Sanyasastu Mahabaho Dukkham Aptuma Yogataha Ayogataha Sanyasaha Dukkham Aptum It's very painful. Yoginaha karma kurvanti sangam jaktva atma shuddhahe. 
So here yogina means karma yogi. So what for we do the karma in life? To improve the world? No. To improve our heart. See? Therefore it is essential that when we are functioning in this world, our attention is on our mind and not what is happening outside. <coughs> Otherwise, we'll get lost in that, improving the world. Then, yadnyo dhanam tapaschaiva pavanani manishinam. In the 18th chapter, Bhagavan will say, that yadnyo dhana and tapas, austerity is charity and the yadnya, the various types of karmas, anushthana, they are meant for what? Pavanani manishinam, for the purification of the mind. Ityadi pratipadaishyati. This will be said by Bhagavan in the subsequent chapters. Nanucha, now a doubt is raised. Abhyam sarva bhutebhyo dattva naishkarmyam achared ityadav kartavya karma sanyasad api naishkarmyam praptim darchayati lokecha karmanam anarambat naishkarmam iti prati siddhataram ataha cha naishkarma siddhartina kim karmaram bena iti praptam ataha. Now when we take sannyas, that time this sankalpa is taken. That abhayam sarva bhute bhyaha dattva, so abhayam sarva bhute bhyaha dadami, this is the sankalpa taken. So what is the meaning of karma, sannyasa, you know, according to the Viraja Homa? I grant freedom from fear to all those who come in my contact. That is the sankalpo of a sannyasi. I don't threaten, I don't create any fear in the mind of anybody because of my ferociousness. See? This is the thing. And see how much this sankalpa is honored. Is he a tiger or lion? Lions club member. Abhayam sarva bhute dadami. So, by this statement, all the kartava karma are rejected, and by this one attain nash karma. And therefore, in this world also, without beginning any karma, there is possibility of attainment of this nash karma siddhi. Therefore, why a person? Iti prapta karmaram mehenakim. Then why should he begin the karma? This is the possible question. And therefore, in the second line, Bhagavan says, Nacha sanyasana deva siddhim samadhi So, the second aspect is, uh, Na api sanyasanat eva kevalad karma parityaga matrad. Only by giving up the karma, you don't attain the naishkarma siddhi. Nacha sannesana deva. Then, jnana rahitat. If you are only babaji and giving up everything and do not know anything, ABCD about the truth, you will not attain the karma siddhi, naishkarma siddhi. Therefore, siddhim naishkarma lakshanam, jnana yoga in nishtam na samadhi gachati ityartaha. This is how there are, you know, two types of seekers that we see here. One is these Bairagis. You will see, they really, I see many of them and I am so uh, at times feeling how really they are living such a difficult life. They'll be sleeping anywhere, eating anything, drinking water from any place. And whether it's cold or winter or summer or rains, they keep on moving from one place to another. Then they'll be taking this ganja, tamaku, BD and all that. It's a very torturous life. But other than this, if you ask them or talk to them about Paramatma, total blank. So, Vairagya, they have attained extremely. But only karma tyaga matra, that's what Bhagavan says here, karma parityaga matra, only by giving up the karma and vairagya, aha, 
बिकॉज इट इज ज्ञान रहित देर इज नो नॉलेज अबाउट द सेल्फ एंड एज यू गो डीपर एंड डीपर थ्रू नॉलेज यू कम टू नो यू कैन गिव अप समथिंग इफ इट इज यूअर्स इज इट नॉट I cannot give up your pencil. I can give up my pencil. Now in this world, what is ours? Then we have the arrogance. I have this passion. I have given up everything. What was yours? When this understanding dawns, then there is no ego of the vairagya also. Nirmamo nirahankara. Look in the second chapter, Bhagwan said. विहाय सर्वान कामान य पुमा चरति निस्पृह निर्मो निरहंकार स शांति मधिगछति सो इवन देर इज अ ट्रिमंडस ईगो ऑफ रिनन्सिएशन आई हैव गिवन अप एवरीथिंग व्हाट यू हैव गिवन अप व्हाट वाज युअर्स राइट फ्रॉम युअर बॉडी ऑनवर्ड्स दिस अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज द मोस्ट एसेंशियल फैक्टर Otherwise, we get lost only in this thing. I don't eat this. I don't eat that. I eat this and I eat with that. That is not all. Therefore, kevalat karma paritya agamatrad eva dhyana rehitar siddhim neshkarma lakshanam dhyana yoga neshtan samagita gachati na prapnoti. One doesn't attain that. Now, before we enter the next verse, let us review what is meant by this neshkarma siddhi. now three four five steps i'll tell you once you imbibe that then there will be no confusion in your mind throughout life when i consider myself to be a limited being first step when i consider myself to be limited there is a sense of otherness sense of otherness is called as the world and this me who consider myself to be the limited starts imagining if i get this if i get that then i will become unlimited i will have freedom from the limitations and this is called as a desire and the desire will not allow you to keep quiet it will put you into activity so what is the real meaning of nashkarma siddhi real meaning of neshkarma siddhi is you don't act why because you don't have desire why because you don't consider yourself to be a limited being why because you have come to discover you are the infinite reality so in the infinite reality there is no possibility of any karma this is what is meant by neshkarma siddhi only giving up everything and then uh, imagining that you know i am not doing anything bhagwan karega no this totally wrong you know in the life of uh, samartha ramda swami there was one disciple he went to him one day and said sir i think i have realized that i am brahman therefore i don't think i have to do anything other in the ashram you have to do some or the other work so that master said yes you are right sit down he sat down and then uh, lunch time came so that day he called his food in his room only he get me a food here i won't come there so food came he ate left and right nicely brahman was looking brahman was not given anything because brahman doesn't have hunger and uh, the food everything went and he said i'll take this i'm tired brahman was sitting <laughs> and he slept snoring away a little longer and then again at 4 o'clock he got up evening tea and some snacks and all that brahman sitting there and he said uh, i'll take a round of the ashram and see how are the what are the things and he went for a nice long run or walk and came in the evening late evening and after that dinner time and then brahman said sir please allow me to go if not i will have to do it here so ramda sami said brahman doesn't do 
ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಅಕರ್ತೃತ್ವ ಅಪೋಕ್ತೃತ್ವ ಸಿ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ನೈಷ್ಕರ್ಮ ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ಈಸ್ ಅಬೈಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಅಬ್ಸಲ್ಯೂಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಎಸ್ ನೈಷ್ಕರ್ಮ ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ನೈಷ್ಕರ್ಮ ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ಕ್ಯಾನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಅಟೆಂಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಆಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೇಷನ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇವನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇವನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇಗೋ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಅಪ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಅಪ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಯು ನೋ ಮೆನಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಗೋ ಟು ದಿಯರ್ ಹೌಸಸ್ ಐ ಲೈಕ್ ಪಿಂಚಿಂಗ್ ದೇ ಮೆನ್ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಸೌತ್ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಅಯ್ಯಂಗಾರ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಐ ವೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಯ್ಯಂಗಾರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಯು ನೋ ಟಿಪಿಕಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆರಿ ಆರ್ಥೋಡಾಕ್ಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ಹೋಲಿಯರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ದವ್ ಆಟಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ಸೊ ಐ ವೆನ್ ಟು ದಿಯರ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೆಡ್ ಅಮ್ಮ kindly give me only vegetarian okay i don't take any non vegetarian it was enough she came swami ji do you know in our family onion garlics also never come in our house nobody enters the kitchen except the lady of the house it is clean every day this puja is done we don't go with the slippers inside like all other people and in this manner we are someone very great so do you think it is a less ego it is a pure ego <laughs> ego of purity <laughs> pure ego <laughs> therefore the real nice karma siddhi is abidance in the absolute ನಾವು ಕಸ್ಮಾತ್ ಪುನಃ ಕಾರಣ ಕರ್ಮ ಸನ್ಯಾಸ ಮಾತ್ರ ಜ್ಞಾನರಹಿತ ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ನೈಷ್ಕರ್ಮ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಪುರುಷ ನಿಗತಿ ಹೇತು ಆಕಾಂಕ್ಷಾ ಆಹ ಹೇತು ಆಕಾಂಕ್ಷಾ ಡಿಸೈರ್ ಅಸ್ ಟು ನೋ ದ ಕಾಸ್ ದ ರೀಸನ್ ವಾಯ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಕರ್ಮ ಸನ್ಯಾಸ ವಿದೌಟ್ ದ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಅಟೆಂಡ್ ನೈಷ್ಕರ್ಮ ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ವಾಯ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೋ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಸೇಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ನಿ ಕಷ್ಟಿ ಕ್ಷಣಿ ಜಾತುತಿಷ್ಠತ್ಯಕರ್ಮ ಕಾರ್ಯತೆಯವಶಕರ್ಮ ಸರ್ವಪ್ರಕೃತಿಜೈರ್ಗುಣ ನಿ ಯಸ್ಮಾನ್ ಕ್ಷಣ ಅಪಿ ಕಾಲ ಜಾತು ಕದಾಚಿತ್ ಕ್ವಚಿತ್ ಕಶ್ಚಿತ್ಷ್ಠತಿ ಅಕರ್ಮಕೃತ್ ಸನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎ ಮೋಮೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಏವರ್ ಎನಿ ಬಡಿ ರಿಮೇನ್ ವಿದೌಟ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಅದರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ರೂಲ್ ಕಸ್ಮಾತ್ ಕಾರ್ಯತೆ ಮಾಯ ಸೋ ಕಸ್ಮಾತ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಯತೆ ಹಿ ಯಸ್ಮಾತ್ ಅವಶಃ ಏವ one is compelled to get into activity karma sarva prani prakriti jaihi prakriti tah jataihi sattva raj tamo bhihi gunaihi so karyate yavach karma sarva prakriti jair gunaihi as long as we are under the influence of these three gunas we are doing karma see i don't do anything is also a doing so when we are under the influence of tamoguna the tamoguni karya will start when we are under the influence of rajoguna the rajogunic activities will start when we are under the influence of the sattvaguna the sattvaguna activities will start means what as long as we are under the influence of the three gunas the prakriti there is no choice left that whether we will work or we will not work avashaha under compulsion so adne iti vakya shesho vakshadi gunai yona vichalyati iti sankhya nam pratakaranan adnyana nam evahi karma yogo na dnyani nam in the 14th chapter bhagwan says gunaihi yona vichalyate see in the 14th chapter arjuna asks this question when he uh, listens to the glory of a man 
who has transcended the three gunas of the prakriti that kindly tell me the signs of the man of uh, wisdom or a person who has transcended the impact of the three gunas this uh, guna atita purush like in the second chapter he has asked stita pragya in the 12th chapter the devotees who is my devotee and in the 14th chapter who is beyond the three gunas and they are the first verse bhagwan says that prakasham cha pravrittim cha moham eva cha pandava na dveshti sampravrittani na nivruttani kaanshti he who is not influenced by whether it is sattva guna rajo guna or tamo guna he does not ever put any effort tamo guna has come remove and invoke sattva guna no na dveshti sampravruttani like you know when the students are studying and they have to complete the course and if they are very sleepy uh, they become so angry with their sleep so they want to take tea coffee run here and there why so sleep should go away so we are constantly fighting with the three gunas the guna ati the purusha he knows that they are in me i am not in them such a person alone is the one who is attaining the naish karma siddhi therefore nahi kashchit kshanam api jatu dishtati akarma krut no body can ever claim that i do nothing as long as we are under the influence of the uh, three gunas and therefore adnyanam evahi karma yogo na jnani naam those who have taken the stand that i am the jiva for them alone there is this karma yoga ज्ञानी नाम तो गुण ही अचाल्यम स्वत चलना भाव कर्मयोग न उपपद्य है एंड ज्ञानी नाम ही गुण ही अचाल्यम ज्ञानी नाम दोज हु आर अनडिस्टर्ब बाय द थ्री गुणाज ऑफ द प्रकृति स्वत चलन अभाव एंड दे देम सेल्व आर नॉट डूइंग एनिथिंग एंड देअर फोर कर्मयोग न उपपद्य है there is no possibility of karma yoga tatha cha vyakhyatam we already told you what veda vinashanam nityam ya enam ajam avyayam katham sa purusha partha kam ghatayati hantikam we have seen it already when where few days before in the second chapter oh like that so tatha cha vyakhyatam there be he who has known this truth he is never never influenced by the three gunas and therefore he alone has transcended the uh three gunas and established in the nishkarma siddhi and therefore yaha tu anatmadnya choditam karmana arabhyate iti tat asadeva iti a and he who is anatmadnya he who takes himself to be the body or the jiva anatmadnya means these two options he who takes himself to be the body or the jiva and choditan karma na arabhate and the vidhi nishedh the do's and don'ts as given by the scriptures if that he is not practicing then that is wrong tat asadeva this is what bhagwan says in the next verse आस्ते मन सामर इंद्रियामूढ़ात्मा मिथ्याचार सौच्य कर्मेन्द्रियाणी संयम्य कर्मेन्द्रियाणी हस्तादीनी ऑल द ऑर्गन्स ऑफ एक्शन आर टाइट डाउन कर्मेन्द्रियाणी संयम्य एंड समृत्य विड्रॉइंग देम 
and aste tishtati and in this way he remains without doing anything and manasa smaran chintayan indriyarthan but in the mind he is constantly imagining if i this if i that i will do this so the mind is running around in the worldly objects for enjoyment but from outside he is simply sitting because he is a great yogi so he is bhagwan says vimudhatma vimudha antakarana mithyacharo mrushacharo papacharaha sauchate he is deceiving himself he is the highest hypocrite he is the highest sinner because why is sinner he is destroying his mind see there are three four stages if you have desire nothing wrong work and fulfill your desire if you don't have desire for yourself but you have the ability so you work and let the society be benefited better and third you don't have desire and you don't work at all still better and the last one let the karma happen through you you don't claim anything so instead of that if we have the worst category all the desires are gurgling inside but outside yaha karmendriyani sayamya aste only sitting like a log but inside is going on this is totally wrong this is what our kabir ji says ne beads are moving in the hand the tongue is moving in the mouth the mind is running around the whole world this is not called as chanting the lord's name in the same manner simply sitting quiet i don't do anything therefore i am an ashkarma no that is self deception that's what is so necessary that we should never deceive ourselves and we all deceive ourselves the most om purnamadaha purnamidam purna atuna mudachate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva avashishyate om shanti 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 hari om shri gurubhyo namaha hari om